It is fashion's biggest night, and the stars did not disappoint at the Met Gala this year. Yeah, so here to break down some of the night's best and craziest looks is style expert Brooke Jaffe. Hi, Brooke. Hi, thanks for having me. Yeah, okay, so let's talk about Zendaya. She was lit up on the carpet. So I love how everyone interpreted the theme. She was living that Cinderella princess yeah. moment and she brought her longtime stylist La Roche onto the carpet sort of her fairy godmother or father oh, of yeah. sorts and he you know they it was a performance art piece yeah where we really saw him transform her oh. into the princess and her dress lit up it I feel like the performance was like a theme <laughs> of the night too like everybody kind of came to people perform. work that carpet. yeah they did they really did and you know so it was it was theatrical and it was a head-to-toe experience I love that next up one of my favorites of the night, Cardi B. Oh, Unbelievable. <laughs> Un well, when I thought Gaga had shut the carpet down, then came Cardi B. This dress, you know, feathers were a huge thing happening on the red carpet, both inside the dress and outside. This is a down feather dress made by Tom Brown. And if anyone is familiar with his work, he's really known for suiting. Yeah. So this was a really big departure. For like men yeah. suits. Yeah. Really? Right? Yes. And so this was a really big deal. And her dress was imp inspired by feminism, is what she she said. Yeah. Wow. So really celebrating the female form. Love this kind of blood, ox blood color here. Love you it. have to just sacrifice her fashion because she could not walk in that dress, which I feel like is. But she was you so commit, proud of You know it. what I mean? You yeah. commit to those dresses. I just, you know, like thinking about all of these wonderful pieces of art next to one another inside. Once everybody yeah. got inside. I know, happened. right? Yeah. Well, let's talk about Serena. Oh, Emily Blunt, actually. Let's go to her oh, next. So she was to die for. She was really our golden girl. Michael Kors designed this incredible gown. And uh, we're told it has almost half a million sequins to put oh this gown gosh. together. Wow. Um, it's just, it's spectacular. She hasn't actually been on the Met Gala carpet in about three years. So it was really nice to see her back and just owning her goddess, statuesque, you know, everything that she is. I love that. Yeah, Let's that talk about one of the co-hosts for last night, Serena Williams. Love. So I yeah. love, you know, she did it her way. <laughs> um, she's wearing Versace, custom Versace. You know, in terms of designers that really get kitsch and camp, Versace, the house of Versace, they, they really showed up last night and were one of the brands that, you know, we're most excited about. This is neon. I just love everything about that big volume shoulder, which yeah. is really happening. And the off-white Nike collaboration sneakers, making it so her own. She's oh, comfortable. Oh, I thought they matched her dress. They did, they did, oh, but yeah. they're a different brand, and they're just, they're fantastic, and they just make the look Serena. Perfect, yes. yes. Perfection. Absolutely. Okay, Janelle Monet. Okay. This Love was this. a lot of this fun. It was yeah. so much fun. So her dress literally winked. Yes, I know. Um, I was like, was, how did you do that? It was fantastic. <laughs> she she was wearing Christian Siriano, who's, you know, everyone knows from Project One Runway, what an amazing human being and designer. And yeah. just this is a work of art, very, you know, different for him. Looks like uh, could be a Salvador Dali inspiration yeah. or a Picasso inspiration. And then, of course, that uh, functionality of a winking eye. But I also <laughs> I felt it was like a theme of her saying, well, I'm a woman who wears many hats, you know, I can do oh, a lot I of like things. Oh, I like that. That's what, kind of what yeah. I was thinking. Yeah. 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 Right. Uh -huh. What about one of my favorites in life, Lizzo? Well, she surprised us all with fuchsia hair. Yeah. Dyed to match her dress, which again, you can't go more camp than your hair matching your dress. <laughs> right. This was a head-to-toe experience. Her dress is custom Marc Jacobs. She walked in. She was fierce and friendly and fabulous. Yeah. And she was again, having a good time. Fun. That yeah. was She's what the night fun. was about. Love her. Well, let's talk about Lupita Nyong'o. What do okay. you think about Lupi Lupita's? She walked. I mean, I always love Lupita on the yeah. red carpet, and I love her stylist, Michaela Erlinger. They always get seem to get it right. Yeah. Um, and you never know what Lupita's going to do next. And she was just this fantastic rainbow of neon and bright and happy. Again, House of Versace. Yeah. Very different ah. look from Serena, who yeah. we were just talking about. Yeah. So I love how the night we saw such a range from the House of Versace that really seemed to match the, the spirit of the wearer. And I, I love the like gold Yes, her I, hair. So I cool. think that is Again, such a nice touch. head to toe <laughs> experience. Yeah. All right, and a nod to the culture. All right, and Celine Dion oh. showed up. Right? She really did. So we gotta love Celine. So she was wearing a love. 22 pound oh my cape gosh. of fringe. So oh she's my wearing gosh. a leotard. That's 22 pounds. This is Oscar de la Renta. Um, it took 52 embroiderers 
to put this together. So oh, like, it by was hand. Worth it. So it's she's just this is her being diva. She was inspired by Cher. Yeah. Another just you know there's something campy about Cher. So let's talk about the men real quickly. Jared okay. Leto, oh, whoa, my. and Ezra Miller. <laughs> so for those of you out there who love fashion and follow the runways, Alessandro Michele, who is the, the uh, creative um, brand, uh, he oversees Gucci, uh -huh. he sent heads, severed heads down the runway a few seasons ago. So this is something that we've seen on the Gucci runway. He had Jared Leto, they made this, uh, took six months to make the oh severed head. God. And uh, Jared joked that interviewing the severed head would be better than interviewing Jared Leto. <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe that, but All right, pretty well, fabulous. Lots of fun stuff. Be sure to follow Brooke at Brooke Jaffe Style. Thanks so much, Brooke. For Such a fun night. We could talk for it hours. Was. Thank you. Good stuff. <laughs>